Good evening, Zhang. Wang Shanghao, Doctor. Do you still think about? Of course I do. I know what you mean. Maybe death will. T How do you feel? I've decided. Do be careful. That's true. What are you doing? I've dis. That's. I've no. Giving up. I am a. How it. My only. Why don't you? I thought. Of Why? St I am a. How do you feel? I don't. You should recover. Thank you. Goodbye, fun. Good evening, Mr. I can ask you. What do you plan? I'm not sure. What kind of stories all Romanian? You believe them? Yes, I am. Are you living on And why not? What about your house? My house is all with. Why are you? I remember the night you. I heard what happened. Everything was going well. Maybe you should consider. So you. You seem to have. I heard you. I didn't use. But what happened to. Tell me everything you know. I do not believe. Tell me. I do not. How is this terrible? There isn't just your way. That's quite stop. Tell me, I do not. Tell me, I do not. Who is she? You say, she well, are you? She are you in God? How do you? I wouldn't. Yeah, he said I do. Goodbye, Mr. Patrick. Good evening. Wang Shanghao. Goodbye, Fun. I cannot enter. Be moving on. 
Watch yourselves! It's locked.
There's an open window on the second floor. I should be able to get in through that. the tall queen. You can but lower your head. Can that be Doris Fletcher's voice? Where does it come from? Dead enter my realm. Are you here to worship or mock me? I'm here to put an end to the vampire epidemic, Miss Fletcher. Ah. But Doris Fletcher is no more. She was consumed by this putrid flesh that now enshrouds her. You feel anger for what happened to you. But I can help you. I'm a doctor. Doris Fletcher is no more. All that remains 
are the dreams of the queen she was and the queen she'll be. Until then, all shall die, for that was her final wish. Woe unto thee, son of Babylon, on guard! <laughs> Slayer, the disgrace of she once renowned. Will she be the queen again once they all share her fate? to die. And I did not come to kill you, Miss Fletcher. Will you spare me then? Save this cadaverous carcass of mine. Does your heart beat a little faster now? You fancy me then, Doctor? No, Miss Fletcher. My dead heart will beat for only one. Ah! Is she pretty? Is she sweet and tender? To me, yes. Ah! I hate her already. I know. And this is partly why you must be destroyed. But you just said... That I did not come here to kill you, yes. But I realize now the threat you embody must be stopped. Will I be remembered? Will you? You were Doris Fletcher, the greatest actress of her generation. No one can take that from you. Thank you. And farewell. Farewell, Doris. Bravo! So dramatic. I love it. McCullum. How strange I seem to find you whenever I'm inquiring about that skull infestation. I mean you no harm. I'm not here for you. But once I put all the pieces of the puzzle together, I'm sure we'll have a little chat, you and me. Stay away from me, McCullum. You and all your war dogs. That I can't guarantee, Dr. Reed. But I'll let you go. For now. I should probably leave the theater right now. Smells like rotten. 
It's locked. The West End should be safe now. But London is not. It would be wise to benefit from the Ascalon's protection while I continue my research during the Great Hunt. I need to leave now. So Doris just needed to be close to her audience to infect them. Contagion through skin. Very disturbing. She's been... It's a pleasure to see you, sir. Elizabeth, what are you doing here? I've been formally asked to witness your triumph, my dear. After all, isn't it the natural role of a woman to support her man in victory? But it's you who insisted I join the Ascalon. Please forgive my giddiness. I'm just overcome by the thrill of finally being allowed within these hallowed halls. You certainly have an inquisitive mind. It's quite something. Elizabeth Ashbury, only you can make me smile in these difficult times. And the same to you, Jonathan Reed. Now go have your little chat with the chairman. I can see he's practically bursting to hear your report. We'll talk later, Jonathan. I have a boat ready to go whenever I want. These hunters won't catch me. Have you heard the rumors of some horned vampire? Welcome back to the Ascalon Club, Lance Bearer. Please, tell us the good news. Have you put an end to the epidemic? My hypothesis was correct. Doris Fletcher was the source of the contagion in this part of town. She was probably the first to be infected. And you cleansed her before the hunters, I've been told. Well done, Dr. Reed. You thrust your lance and pierced the very heart of the corruption. But some questions remain. The important thing is, we won a major battle for the survival of London. For that, we salute you. Thank you, my lord. Now, I have another task for you. One of the utmost importance. Perhaps even more so than the previous. I'm listening. It's time for you to perform a most sacred duty for the club. I want you to recruit a new vampire. Recruit a new vampire? Are you sending me on some sort of diplomatic mission? Not exactly. I want you to make Aloysius Dawson the Econ he deserves to be. Oh. 
I'm not sure I'm the best candidate for such a task. I can hear the hesitation in your voice, Dr. Reed. I admire a man of principles. But in this matter, there is more at stake than your moral comfort. It's not a moral question, Lord Redgrave. It's the responsibility of giving immortality to a man I barely know. Nonsense. Aloysius has been a member of the Ascalon for years. This is but the fruition of a long-held plan. How would you like me to proceed? Aloysius is waiting for you at the Dawson Estate. Once the deed is done, I'll join you there to celebrate this momentous occasion. Your word is my command. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Have a drink and enjoy this night, for it could be our last. Are you all right, Jonathan? Lord Redgrave has just ordered me to turn Aloysius Dawson, to make him my progeny. I see. And how do you feel about this? I'd like your advice on the matter. The real question here is, why has his lordship given you this task? Do you think it's some sort of trap? Do you really want to know what I think about this? I do, yes. To make an immortal of a soulless blackguard like Aloysius Dawson will only lead to a disaster for London. The man is already dead inside. Should I refuse? Perhaps politely suggest that Lord Redgrave turn the man into a vampire himself. Don't you dare, my dear. According to what I've recently discovered, his lordship could kill you for even broaching the subject. Really? Why? I've recently found proof that the Earl of Bristol is of lesser lineage and only capable of creating skulls. Please, tell me more about your recent investigation. As long as you lower your voice. What would happen if I made Dawson an Ekon like myself? You would add a powerful immortal into a suffering world. An immortal who already craves authority. Maybe I could teach him control, like you taught me. Lead him down the right path. Mr. Dawson spent his life searching for a way to cheat death. I'm sure he has spent decades dreaming of how he'd spend... What would you have me do? The man is dangerous. Did you know he planned... What would you do? The man's dying already. Are you sure your information about Redgrave... That's a lie. Lord Redgrave is unable to create anything... How can you be sure the infam... I made the acquaintance of a most interesting informer. Why so vindictive? You Forgive me, Jonathan. I hate myself for it, but... Which is? He did serve William Marshall. And yes, the blood he covets as a token does truly belong to that legendary knight. But he was never his project. Goodbye for now, Elizabeth. Goodbye, my dear. Please, be careful. Welcome back, Dr. Reed. It looks like vampires have to obey Mendel's laws when producing progeny. Powers pass from one generation to another. That's why Dawson wants me to sire him.
I cannot enter. It's locked. I cannot enter. I should find another way to get into the neighborhood. I can't believe I'm doing this. There has been a fight here. I can see a blood trail. Left by one of the antagonists, perhaps? What a mess. Something terrible happened here. But what?
I feel this passage will lead me close to Aloysius Dawson's mission. Ah! 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 Ah!
It's locked. I cannot enter. Are you all right, miss? Who are you? What do you want from me? My name is Jonathan Reed. I'm a doctor. 
What happened to you? Why are you here? I'm Louise Teasdale. I was kidnapped a few weeks ago by a vampire. Don't laugh, please, sir. It's no joke. I believe you, Miss Teasdale. That monster told me my father was dead, that no one was waiting for me outside. You're safe now. You don't have to worry about the vampire. You should just return home. Thank you, sir. I hope we'll meet again soon, because I'd really like you to teach me how to get rid of these creatures. Goodbye, Miss Teasdale, and be careful. Good evening, sir. May I ask you what you're doing? I'm conducting an investigation. And who? I'm Dr. I'm Detect... I work... The Ascot? What can you... I'm the one up. What can... I'm not going Haven't I told... All right. And what... We both... Why... Criminal. No, I've no... All right. What are you really... I told... Do you work on Yes. What about... I know. Tell me... I'm not even sure. How could diff... That's my ma... What are... I currently... Tell me about... She's a waitress. Do you have it? No. Tell me... Mr. K Where was... Mr. K Do you know anything in particular about him? Who doesn't... know the man? What else can you tell me about? Aloysius Dawson is exactly the kind of powerful and influential man who could commit murder and get away with it, with just one phone call. Do you need... I'm fine, that. Goodbye. Goodbye.
Dawson's mansion. Here I am at last. But the question remains. Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? It's locked. Finally you're here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions for you. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. Believe me, there is a huge difference between reading about vampires and waking up as one. I learned that myself the hard way. Oh my god, man, stop your whining. I don't have time for your pointless jibber-jabber. You'll need- I'm rich, Doctor. I will become your maker. Well, I certainly won't consider you my- What do you know about the guard? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything. Let's move on, then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. Quarantine is not a bad idea, medically speaking. As long as the right people are on the right side of the wall, that's... But you can't guarantee infection will not spread. Just one contagious carrier would be enough to create an apocalypse. The apocalypse is already knocking at the gate. What if a new outbreak happens? That won't happen, as long as we dispose of any... You really plan to build... Yes, it will be... T you... Yes! Let me guess. You mean to isolate the rich from the poor. This is a desperate measure for desperate times. England must prevail, Doctor. By doing so, you will also... Come, sir. An eminent doctor like yourself knows that such... Who gave you... My man... I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last. 
All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. You don't deserve immortality, Mr. Dawson. What? What are you prattling on about? I don't believe I've ever met a man so bereft of empathy. You, sir, are despicable. No! Wait! You can't! I made a deal with Lord Redgrave. I'll finance whatever he wants. Please, just ask him. Sleep now. Rest now. Forever. <laughs> I would have lived forever. Who are you to decide my fate? Who gave you the authority? Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn as expected? Alas, Aloysius Dawson was not brought back to life after his death. The man is gone. What? What happened? He didn't survive the procedure. He was too weak. This is unacceptable, nevertheless. You were given the simplest task. Well, get rid of me then. From now on, you're an outcast. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor. And take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone! Step away, traitor. Return to your dubious friends and your decrepit hospital. Do not dare show yourself again, you or that monstrosity you bring to my door. We meet again at the strangest of times, young Ekon. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget? What are you doing here? Your friend, the wise Ekon. She sent me to warn you. Lady Ashbury? You know her? Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago, wanting to meet the sewer skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones, she agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then? How is she doing? Harriet remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. No time to lose, then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Yes. Tell her I love her. 
Is this still unknown to her? Go now and take care, young Ekon, for the flames are rising. You better go now to the Pembroke Hospital.